8 o'clock at night. I'm going to walk you around. We are at Lakewood RV Resort in... Dad, out. Oh, dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> Did you see Guys, Bro, you got to watch where you're going. so close to hitting it. Seriously, you got to watch where you're going. Dude, we were this close to hitting it. I know. I, you know, you can hear me with my expression of my voice when I said... Oh, Lakewood. Gosh, 2023 Easter weekend. I'm Sandy from T Squad RVing. Wanted to jump on and, and show you guys the site that we're at. Um, we chose to come down to Lakewood here for the first of April and thought instead of going to see family, let's, well, because they're far away, let's go ahead and get the family out to the beach and spend time with our, our two kids and as they're growing up. Um, so yes, we were able to get them to take time off work and we took some time off school. So we're here at Myrtle Beach and um, I wanted just to give you a little view of our site so you guys are familiar. There's, this Lakewood has, I don't even know how many sites they have, they have a lot. Um, but we're at 2329 and I wanted to give you the view of what we have. Initially, they tried to put us at 2827 when we pulled up very tight, um, but they were very accommodating when we gave the head office a call to let them know that our 40-foot rig would not fit on that site. So we went ahead and um, moved over actually to two, two sites, and actually, it works out pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little bit of the view from inside the RV, and then we will head outside. So I'm going to just turn you all around. So here we got the view from inside. This is from the dining room side. So here we go, we'll take on the outside of the RV. Oh, babe, can you turn that off for me, please? One of the recommended ways of getting around at Lakewood is to rent their golf carts. Um, what is it? It's, I mean, it's pricey, but if you didn't bring your bikes, I would recommend a golf cart. Bye, guys. See you guys. And yeah, we we'll have a licensed driver to drive on the um, the golf cart. So I know the one actually, she just she's got a permit, but not able to drive it since uh, that's one of the regulations on the rules. So here we are again. We are at site 2829. Um, I've never. Thankfully. Thankful, thankfully we are at 2829. I, I did tell them that and they said it was because we were actually at 2827 nope. and it did not accommodate our 40 foot RV. Nope. So. Nope. Girls. Hi. <laughs> they want their mama. All That's right. Mama. So I'm going to walk you around up down here. Go to the back corner. And it is the duck season and also um, the, uh, what do you call it? The Canadian geese are here as well. But here they all come. So over here, we have the entrance to the park. You'll see them crossing over there. So out there, you'll see everybody coming in. That's the entrance to the actual park. We got little guests. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. And that's how fast the weather can change here in Myrtle Beach. The weather has changed. It is now cloudy in Myrtle Beach. It is 50 degrees and raining. It has been downpouring for the last couple days. 
Uh, this is why we were quick to do a video in this beautiful weather that Sandy did. So I decided to take it on this video when it was cloudy. And I want to show you that we RV no matter what sort of weather we are dealing with. I want to show you our hookup. And we are full hookup and of course I have my gray and black tank there. And this one right here is for my outdoor kitchen over there. But this is a full hookup with 50 amp service. And uh, that yellow cord you see there is powering our um, charger for the golf cart. And this is my surge guard, which I always recommend you having. And always make sure all those are green before you turn connect this to your RV. Walking on the side of the RV, the 2830 is actually turned. That should be that way. Wow, this place has emptied out. Look at all the open spaces. It has emptied out. So the site we were supposed to get that Sandy was talking about is where those trucks are parked. And if you see that green utility, that is the line and that tree is the line. So I cannot believe we were actually supposed to be parked there. Not this one. Our neighbor just left here. It's that one right there. All right, so if you come from that direction right there, that's the main road that takes you around. And I'll take you from at the in the back. If you could see between those two, uh, RVs you'll see the lights that's actually the main road coming in so this is the main road and we have a fork in the road right <laughs> right there so usually you draw the line like right there, right? So I'm actually on his property, on his lot. Here's the Grand T. And yes, this is what does it right here. So our lot goes all the way from where I showed you, all the way right about here. Yes. And there it is. There's tons of things to do. And once you're in the park, they give you these fancy wristbands that um, allow you to do actually miniature golf, um, you can access their their basketball courts, the volleyball courts, their indoor pool, outdoor pool. They do have a slide. Um, Twenty eight twenty nine um, here at Lakewood. It's at near the entrance of the park, and we highly recommend this area. Uh, first of all, I'd love to give Sandy a hand for taking over this, and she's recording. She's uh, doing this video because I was tending to the dog. So thank you, by the way. Uh -huh. I love you. Thank uh -huh. you. You're welcome. But yeah, one thing I want to note is, by the way, thanks for being here. And thank you. We are almost at our record subscriber list. And we couldn't be more thankful for you guys to be our subscribers. Anyway, so one thing I want to note is when you reserve your site is pay the lock fee if they have it. At this mo at this time, I did not pay the lock fee. I'm like, ah, as long as they put us on the little lake here, we're okay. Well, as Sandy said in, in the beginning of this video, it doesn't always go as planned. So that's why I always recommend just paying that $20, $10. I don't even know if they have it here. Uh, I think I did it last time, and we are solidified with a, we are confirmed with a lot, and we knew what lot number we were coming to. But one thing I do want to say is they do have the express check-in, we did not check in that way we pulled up it was really quick they gave us a nice big thick envelope with all of our bands in it and our lot numbers and a map how to get here and i couldn't couldn't say how easy it is to get in here i mean it is so i couldn't the say check in, the check-in was just fantastic the check -in, yeah the check-in was fantastic so um other than that i think it's a beautiful short walk to the beach or like sandy said go rent yourself a golf cart um, it took us, what, eight minutes to walk to the beach, and boy, is it beautiful. Right here, and they would check you in. They would have your envelope ready for you, but if you are a current guest, or you're already checked in, you would veer to the right here. Ouch, ouch, and watch out for speed bumps. Around this bend right here, you'll see the security. You'll have to stop, and he has to verify that you are camping here. Um, and usually they just wave you by after as soon as they know that you have been checked in.
Always put one tire on. How's it going? Good. You good? Boy, got a driver's license? Yes, oh, he yeah. does. That's it. Oh. Just go. He thinks I'm that young. Boy, got a driver's license. So right here to the left, you'll see the River View or River Town Golf. So one good thing about Lakewood RV Resort is they have the trading post that's behind me that they sell hot dogs, hamburgers, breakfast sandwiches. Uh, what do they do? They sell all the groceries, they sell camping items, and they also have an ice cream place in there as well. So let's go check it out real quick. Oh, good morning. See you later. How are you? Keep walking. I'm good. Happy All right. Easter. Well, happy Easter. Oh, thank you. It's so nice that you guys are open. Okay, here I am. There's the groceries right there. <laughs> right there. Above there, you can order all your stuff to eat. And there's the ice cream place right there. All your apparel. I want to come in and get a Lakewood sweater. That's what I want to do with a hoodie. Richie, I want to get a Lakewood sweater with a hoodie. Right, so we don't freeze in the car. Let's go over here. Yeah, so they fit for both. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll get that one for Sandy, and I think I'll give me the gray one. What do you think? All right, I'm getting this one right here. I'm getting this one for Sandy. Show them. I'm getting this one for Sandy for Easter, and I'm getting this one. She's gonna be an egg. I like the gray. So you know, we were just stopped by security, and he said, "The boy have his driver's license," and I said, "Yep." And Richie said, "Do you want to see it?" What did he say? Nope this circle right here crater circle you'll go left and we are right up here on the left hand side right there thank you Richie for the tour so one thing you want to see when you are in Myrtle Beach actually we are staying at Lakewood Myrtle Beach which is just south of Myrtle Beach it's actually Surfside and one thing you want to do is, on a bad day, we, we can't go swimming. We can't stay at the pool. So we decided to go to Merle's Inlet, the pier. And that's where we are today. Well, today, it only took a 10 minute drive, but we got here, we just walked. You gotta pay for parking, but this is it right here. at your resort or camping resort. Go so you just go buy some matching sweatshirts, you, you bundle up and you go to the nearest attraction. Even though it's like 35 mile an hour winds, we decided to come out here and just enjoy it. And that's it. That's all you can do when it rains and it's cold and then you just go sightseeing. That's why we camp. That's why we RV. That's why we RV. Yes, that's why we RV. That's right. But yeah, so Thank you to everybody for following us on our channel. I know it's been a quick, weird video because of the weather. We tried to get bits and pieces, but we'd like to ask you to share this video out. I'm sorry it's windy. We're gonna talk a little louder, but subscribe if you have not. Go a step further, hit that bell, and you will get notified for videos like this and I can see you. Buy matching sweaters when it's cold. We'll see you guys in the next video.